Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the fake religion from 21 Pilots album, Trench. I'm gonna show how a bunch of the different songs kind of all connect together around this kind of fake religion that they created in this album. We are going to start with the jumpsuit music video. So the first thing to notice is that there are two Tylers. There's this one Tyler that um, is wearing his jumpsuit and then there's this other Tyler in just kind of plain clothing and they're in two different locations. Then there's these lyrics in the song, spirits in the room, friend or foe, and we're introduced to these other characters in the video. So there's all these people kind of up on this mountain looking down on Tyler and they're kind of wearing yellow similar to the yellow that he's wearing. There's this guy in a robe riding this white horse toward Tyler and like as we can see in the lyrics, spirits in the room, friend or foe, he doesn't know who is his friend and who is his foe. Then Tyler falls and he has possibly a flashback. It seems to be like some kind of robed figure standing in like a half circle, some kind of either statue or person with their hands like up over their head. The old man kind of walks up to Tyler and he has this black paint on his fingers and he drags his fingers across Tyler's neck. This could possibly be like a reference back to Blurry Face. There's a vulture uh, shown and this could maybe be a flashback if the other one's also flashback. As Tyler is following this guy, there's these lyrics. He's basically saying like, I'll I'll follow you, I'll be with you, but you'll have to do these like horrible things to me, which basically means like I'm not gonna be there. And he's kind of just following him and you're like, okay, this is kind of contradictory because you're saying like, oh, I'm, I'm not gonna go with you, but you're following him, right? Then the people on the mountain throw down these yellow flower petals uh, and they're like falling around Tyler. He starts to get kind of mad and as he's singing these lyrics, I can't believe how much I hate Birds of a New Place Roll My Way, the screen starts to quickly switch between the two Tylers. The Tyler in jumpsuit is kind of getting angry and then this one is kind of doing these like hand motions with his hand kind of like he's maybe puppeteering or kind of controlling this Tyler over here and then when he sings you know jumpsuit jumpsuit cover me and then on this me he like screams right and he starts to run away from the man on the horse and this Tyler is still like he's like doing these motions kind of showing him like go that way so we kind of think that maybe this is in his head Tyler falls and this time he doesn't get back up and he's laying on the ground with this like yellow flower that he's holding and earlier in the video he looks down and the camera zooms on these flowers that he's looking at and then it kind of goes back to the video and so somehow that flower that he looked at is now in his hand as he's kind of just laying here in the water and the rocks and then we can see there's someone kind of standing here and there's the hooded guy in the robe and the horse and Tyler is just like down here this is like a zoom in so you can kind of see better he's just lying there like help me I've been caught and then it shows us who this person was looking and it looks like Josh. At the end, this Tyler opens his trunk and he grabs that jumpsuit jacket that the other Tyler was wearing and he puts it on and he just walks away and it's like, oh, okay strange. So the next music video that was posted was Nico and the Niners. The word jumpsuit is in the lyrics. I'm heavy, my jumpsuit is unsteady. It's kind of showing that there is indeed a correlation between these two songs and we see that in the music video too because we see a lot of the similar imagery of like him wearing the jumpsuit and everything. In the beginning of the song there are reverse lyrics. If you reverse the beginning of that song you will hear we are banditos, we will leave Dima and head true east we denounce vialism. I'll go more into that later. We saw kind of these words in here, we will leave Dima and head true east, and we can see east and Dima are in the actual lyrics of Nico and the Niners, with the lyrics east is up, and when bishops come together they will know that Dima don't control us. Here it seems like they want to go east for some reason, and whoever or whatever Dima is, it doesn't control them, right? So they want to leave. They don't want this Dima thing. This is the location of the music video. It looks like some dystopian society. And and there is a vulture there and Tyler is kind of looking out the window at the vulture so possibly could this be where those flashbacks originated from I don't know maybe then we see Tyler is in this room and he's singing and he is holding a yellow flower and then he actually takes that yellow flower and puts it in a box that has a bunch of other yellow flowers in it if you recall the flashback was like a bunch of robed figures standing around in a half circle well this looks a lot like that flashback but they're just standing here remember there was like a person on their hand up so this is like a statue and that statue is over here as well uh, this is just like a zoomed in screenshot of the video so you can see that oh okay so now maybe the vulture and these two kind of screenshots were flashbacks right as Tyler singing these lyrics they want to make you forget it's showing these people 
who are wearing like gray clothes that almost look like like medical scrubs. They just look like really creep creeped out. <laughs> I don't know if they look scared. The music video goes back to Tyler and he's packing his red beanie and his white sunglasses from the blurry face era. I think he just wanted to throw that in there to be fun. Now, I want to kind of go back into those backwards lyrics. We are banditos, uh, we will leave Dima and head true east, we denounce vitalism. So it seems like there, this group of people is leaving this place, which we can kind of assume now is Dima. We're getting this kind of cultish vibes, you know? We see these men in robes uh, and these people all wearing like gray clothing and watching them in what kind of looks like a church sort of place. Are these the banditos and are they leaving Dima, whatever Dima is? Just some more cult stuff going on. Tyler meets up with his best friend. They do their signature handshake. Uh, they start jamming, you know. They got their friends with torches, you know, it's lit. The cult hears them because the guys in the robes are like, Nani? Nani? The cult members in their scrubs are like, uh, I'm scared, what's happening? Who is making noise? We're supposed to be quiet and listen to these crazy men. And they're like, coming for them. They're like, I'm coming for you, Murdoch. And they're long gone. And Josh left his drums and there's a jumpsuit jacket there. And we can see zoomed in that the leader of these men in robes is the same like actor from Jumpsuit who was following Tyler. What I deduce from this, the banditos, right, they're leaving Dima, they put yellow tape on Tyler. The brainwashed cult members wear gray, but the banditos wear yellow tape jumpsuits. That kind of shows like that they are banditos and they're not hypnotized by this cult craziness and they're rebelling and they're leaving. And I guess the people who want to leave with them become banditos and they put tape on them to show like, we're out of here, you know? In the backwards lyrics, it said, we denounce vialism, right? It sounds like it could be a religion under assumption in stuff that I read on the internet. <laughs> this cult religion is called vialism. They said that they want to leave Dima, right? And Dima don't control us. So I'm thinking Dima is either the name of the cult or maybe like the higher figure that the cult worships. I was thinking Nico could possibly be like the leader of the robed men and the Niners could either be the other like robed men or just like all of the members of the cult because that would kind of make sense why like this song Nico and the Niners the music video was very heavily like with the cult and stuff where with Jumpsuit we were just kind of like oh why is this guy like taking Tyler away. The third music video that came out from Trench was Levitate. It picks up right where Nico and the Niners ended. At the end they were like leaving through like a cave and now they're coming out of the cave. They go to a camp and they are jamming with vultures. You can kind of see like there's a vulture here. They're like shaving Tyler's head. This is the haircut that he had in jumpsuit. There was like the Tyler that was wearing the jumpsuit and he had like, he had hair, he didn't have a buzz cut. The other Tyler that was like on the car and that was kind of like controlling him and whatever, he had a buzz cut. So possibly this Tyler could be the one from jumpsuit, right? So maybe that part in jumpsuit happened after he escapes and he gets his head shaved at the camp. So then there's this part in the song that says welcome to trench and like this really deep distorted voice and this guy just like mouths welcome to trench um, and it's kind of funny but anyway so we can assume that this camp or like this group community of people is called trench. Everyone's just chilling jamming having a good time and Nico comes and he grabs Tyler by his throat and he drags him away. So I don't know if he literally came and got him or if Tyler's imagining that he did and is he imagining because he's scared that Nico will come get him or is he scared that he will willingly go there because he's brainwashed still or something. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the lyrics of Neon Gravestone. So obviously there wasn't a video for this song, but the lyrics are very much connected with these other three songs. Neon Gravestones explains what vialism is, and Tyler sings about why this fake religion is wrong. He's kind of talking about how in this religion they're like glorifying suicide and how the point of their life is to end it by killing themselves, right? I mean, I don't know much about cults, but like what I know about cults is that in a lot of them, they like kill themselves to like ascend or whatever. 
um, to leave their bodies and move on. So we already know that the banditos are like no violism, no dima. In Neon Gravesons, Tyler specifically sings against this fake religion, saying how it is wrong. People shouldn't follow this ideology sort of a thing. And then finally, there are lyrics in Leave the City and Bandito that also connect. So this is already how many songs? Six um, songs that are on one album that are all kind of interconnected with this kind of idea. There was just one set of lyrics that I wanted to point out on these two songs, which was, in Leave the City, though I'm far from home, in Trench, I'm not alone. And we know from Levitate that Trench is that community or place where the banditos go, right? The song is called Leave the City, so does that mean that Trench is the city? If Trench is the city in Bandito, there's lyrics that say, In city, I feel my spirit is contained. Like neon inside the glass, they form my brain. It's saying in city, and if city is trench, then these songs could all be related. And obviously, we know that Bandito is related, definitely, because the Banditos are the people in trench, right? Um, but I just wanted to point out those lyrics there, too. I hope this was interesting and fun and... Uh, you liked my 5 million slides. Thank you guys so much for watching. This video is sponsored by the Golden State Warriors. <laughs>